Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is my first English video. I had um, several family members and friends ask me to do a video in English and that's what I'm doing today. I'm doing a charcuterie, charcuterie, whatever you want to call it board today. And here is what we made. Um, it's pretty simple, you guys. You guys can definitely get it done in under 10 minutes. It's that fast. If it's a little bit longer in my video, it's just because, you know, getting all the stuff together. But I hope you guys love it. Definitely keep watching. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm super excited today to show you how to get this beautiful charcuterie board or however the heck you want to say it, a cheese board to not make things complicated. I have all the ingredients here. I kept it super simple. Let's make it as easy as possible because I know some of the recipes that I've seen on Pinterest, they get really intense with some ingredients. I'm like, where do you find that? So I tried to keep it Super simple, all those ingredients, I think they're pretty easy to find. So I'll go ahead and show you those up close. All right guys, so this is what we're gonna need today. Here's my hand for reference. It's a pretty big board, I'd say it's like about medium size. I got this at Target. I love it because it is pretty thick. And I also got these from Target. They are from the Threshold and Studio McGee collection, as well as um, the utensils and the board. These two I got at Walmart. And everything else that you see on here, I basically got at Walmart and Costco. You want to make sure that you have some different cheeses. As you can see here, we have some brie cheese, um, mozzarella cream cheese, and then we have a variety of meats. This one already is wrapped um, around the cheese sticks, which is awesome. We have some pepperoni and some different um, crackers I got at Costco, some fresh fruits, some cherry tomatoes, and we have the dried fruit, which is the figs that are golden, golden figs. <laughs> and we have our dips as well. So this is everything that we're going to be using today. I am going to add a little bit of seasoning to one of our cheese balls. And you're going to see that this one I got at Trader Joe's. And I also am going to use those sliced almonds for our cheese ball. So the first thing that I've already done is add um, different dips to those two little bowls. Um, I got that pesto one at Costco and it's my favorite. I love pesto, so if you do too, definitely make sure you add that. And then the other one is pine nut hummus. That's my favorite kind of hummus. So next, we're just gonna go ahead and add the crackers to the cheese board in a way that it makes it look cute. So we can even make like one going down um, around the bowls. Get creative, have fun with it. <laughs> But definitely like what I don't think there's a way that you can make a cheese board or a charcuterie board look bad. Like I think it's going to be really hard for that to happen. All right. So we've only put the crackers on there so far and it's already looking so cute and pretty. So definitely this is not hard. You just put some in the middle and then the other two um, at the top corner and the bottom corner so it's looking really cute now we're just going to go ahead and add the stuff i'm going to wash the fruit and then put it on top and we're back so i've already put a little bit of grapes green grapes and then some strawberries whole i like to put them whole with the green top and then a handful of blueberries right there so it's all starting to kind of come together looking super adorable so now next i'm going to go ahead and add my meats for that i'm going to use and try and do like a little tiktok trick that i saw so i'm going to try that so for this tiktok trick hopefully it works i'm going to be using this meat that i got at costco and i'm also going to be using this jar this mason jar it has Kind of a medium uh, mouth to it so i'm gonna go ahead and just put it around so that's what they tell you to do i'm gonna go ahead and just put it like this and then the next one the next one the next one and kind of like layer it on so let me go ahead and try it all right so this is my first layer you just literally just put it in and then half of it is out and then the half of it is inside 
and then the next one you're going to put it in between the other ones that's how it's going to be going so we're just going all around and we're going to do four of those layers so i'm just going around and i just finished my second layer and i'm going to go ahead and go in for my third and fourth all right guys so this is what it looks like with the fourth layer there's a small circle right there in the middle and what we're supposed to do next is flip it and just put it on the board bam oh i'm so nervous oh my gosh how gorgeous is that it's a flower you guys it looks so freaking cute so let's keep going All right, and the next i'm gonna grab this meat in the middle and i'm just gonna go ahead and like wrinkle it a little bit like if that makes sense like that kind of and i'm just gonna put it right here so all i'm doing is i'm folding it but not a lot just like you just grab a little bit and then just put it like that and it kind of makes it look fuller as well Bas like if you were to just put it just the way it looks then it would look like really flat and this way it gives it a little bit more of um, dimension and texture so that's what we are doing and that looks gorgeous beautiful love it look at that yeah this is gonna be so good let's keep going all right so i am running out of space already like i tell you guys as soon as you start putting things down the space runs so fast so i'm gonna go ahead and just put these that i got at walmart right there i'm putting i'll just do three right next to the pesto and the blueberries i just kind of stack them on top of each other super easy and now i'm gonna get the cheeses i'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, mozzarella cheese balls that I got on there and I'm gonna put a little bit on the board as well as this brie cheese I bought it as a slice already so I don't even have to worry about cutting it perfect it's already done for you so as you can see what I did was add that brie cheese right there it was the perfect spot for it and then I added some um, figs to it which are these and then I also added some mozzarella pearls or balls, whatever you want to call them. Um, now that I put the figs, I do want to add some pepperoni and some cherry tomatoes because that's going to make it look a lot more colorful and colorful is what you're going for because it's going to make it look a lot classier. All right, so unfortunately I don't have space for this um, strawberry and fig jam. It's so good and it goes really well with this kind of cheese board. And so now what we're gonna do with our last ingredients, we have the cream cheese and we have sliced almonds and everything but the bagel. All you're gonna do is you're gonna get a plastic wrap, um, a pretty good size. You're gonna put the cheese there. It's supposed to be softened by now. So we're just gonna put it in there, roll it up in there and then after it's a little ball, I need to make sure it fits right there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put the seasoning and these on top to make it look super cute. So this is what my ball looks like. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's okay. We're going to go ahead and put it right in the middle. Bam, that's perfect size. Awesome. So I just used a little bit less than the full thing. And I just put it there and now I'm just gonna add the seasoning, which is this one, everything but the bagel. That way it can taste really, really good. Oh, that looks so good. That looks so good. I'm so excited. Cause I think this is like the best one that I've done yet. So I'll make sure I get you in closer. This is our finished product. Like I said, you guys, it was super duper easy to make. You guys can definitely do it. Believe me. All right, guys. Well, that was everything from me today. I hope you guys enjoyed my first English video. Please subscribe, like, and follow. Let me know what kind of videos you guys would like to see going forward. And I hope you guys have a great day. See ya. I can't get enough of this. Like, Alexa, play Italian music. I wonder if it'll hear me. Oh, it did. It did hear me. That's awesome. But seriously, mm, let's just enjoy this moment, you guys. We did it. Look at that flower. 
Oh my gosh, you guys, thank you for being with me and watching my first YouTube video in English. I hope you guys enjoyed it.